Greetings, people. It's Mr. PDT yet again on another episode of the Enlightenment series. The native doctor of Wari has responded concerning you people who have been watering down the dress code of his beloved wife. You people who have been saying that Mama Fufain is slowly replacing Michael Jackson. I want you to listen to what the native doctor had to say. The one that wants the jealous out there, jealous. Ah. Go and marry. That's okay. Let me tell you, the one that who I know, there are some people, hey, I don't want everybody to be happy with me. Whether you're happy with me, you are not happy with me. God has lifted me up. He has lifted me up. That's it's okay. my wife. Ah. For your information, which doctors, wicked people, go and marry and bless your wife. That's so. Okay. Don't look at my own. This one is the little that you have to show love to your wives. This is the meaning of this one. Birthday. Don't go and talk, hey, hey, Jeremiah, like this. Why you give her 55 million dollars to now your wife? Oh. I ask you now your wife. Ah. Now you get the money. Now you look for the money. When I am sweating now, where are you? When I'm sweating, do you, you see me? I don't see you. Let your wife clear your face like this. Oh. Clean your face like this. Oh. Uh -uh. Ah. I don't want everybody to praise what I am doing. But I want every man to do what I am doing. Yes, sir. To their wives. I repeat, I don't want everybody to praise what I am doing. I want everyone to do what I am doing to my wife, to their wives. Yes, sir. That's what I want. It's an example. We follow footsteps. So thank you very much. When she was suffering with me, where were you? Where are you there? Where are you there before? So anything I give to her. The other day I bought car for her. Why are you <laughs> Why you bought car for her? Why you bought car for her? Show off, show off, show off. You self go and show off to, with your wife. Let us see. I want to see your own. I want to see your own. Please. Let the blessing pepper them. Pepper them. Pepper them. Pepper them. My blessing pepper them. A wise man once said, if you pick up a starving dog, feed him and make him prosperous, he will forever be grateful and he will forever be loyal and respectful. And that is the principal difference between a dog and an African prophet and African clergy at large. The wealth that these men brag with, the money that they now throw around in your faces, they did not work for it as they claim. If you do an audit today of their source of income or what has been their source of income for the past 10, 15 or 20 years, you realize that it has been nothing other than tithes, seeds, and offering. None of them have a business, a solid business, that they can point to, to say, I have this business that sustains my ministry or that has been sustaining my life. Their business is you. Their clientele is you. Without you, they are nothing. If one day you all wake up, like if we could do a social experiment, if you can all wake up, you that pay tithes and seeds and offerings. If one day you just decide or you just wake up and say, this month and the month to come or in the next three months, we are not paying nothing to an African native doctor. If you just make up your mind, if you just want to try something to just test the waters, you realize that there will be nothing overnight. Nothing. You would have reduced them to zero. You are their source of income. Without you, they are nothing. But what amused me is now they come and break in front of you. They come and shine with the money that you have been giving them. They now feel like they are demigods with your empowerment. Without you, they could have not been who they are or they could not have gotten to where they are today. Without you, my people, Jeremiah Omoto could not afford that Michael Jackson attire that he bought for his wife in that bird's cage that she was carrying. He couldn't afford it. Now he speaks like he's a billionaire, but all that money came from you, my people. But now he talks like he runs a mega business in Nigeria. I've been working. 
Where were you when my wife was standing with me in poverty? To think that the work that they have been doing is collecting your seeds and offering and lying to you that they are hearing from God is just appalling. It's just disturbing. That has been their work. God said, I heard from God. God said this, this and that. And you, in exchange, they took your money. They gave you a word from God as they claim. And you gave them your money to appease the God whom they claim to represent. Something is wrong with this picture. <laughs> well, it's not my money. So I shouldn't take it personal. But to the haters, you heard the native doctor what he said. He go pepe you. With that being said, about. <laughs>